All right, appraisers, this is Brandon with Choice Valuation again. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to set up a custom export for use in Spark, our comp importer tool, it, for those appraisers who use the Connect MLS systems. So right here, I'm going to actually show you how to do it in the MRED MLS system, which uses Connect. Uh, but this, will, this video will work for any other appraisers out there in any MLS system that uses the Connect system, assuming it's already compatible with Spark. And so the first thing you want to do is go to choicevaluation.com. Go here, just load the page, click on Spark, and go to the Spark coverage page. And here you find your MLS system. If it's here and it is clickable, then that means Spark works in your system. So f for now, we're going to go ahead and choose the MRED Connect MLS system. So I'm going to click on that. And these are the instructions for the uh, one-time setup right here. And then these are the instructions for how to actually export your data. Now, you can either watch this video on how to do these two things, set up your custom export and export your data, or you can just follow these instructions right on the website. Whichever you prefer to do, either one will work fine. So let's go ahead and get into it. And again, make sure that you are in the system that applies to you. If you do not use a Connect system, or your, I should say your MLS does not use a Connect system, then find the video that applies to you, whether it's the one for Matrix or Flex or Rapitoni or, or w whatever it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to drag this over so we can see the MLS screen at the same time. Okay, so first thing you want to do is hover over Reports, the Reports tab right here. Go down to Custom Reports and left-click. Okay, then you're going to see a list of all your custom exports that you have, if you have any. Right here, you click the Add New Report button, left-click it, I should say. And then here, for Property Type in this drop-down box, you choose whatever type of search you want to make this export for. So if you do uh, detached single searches, then do that one. If you do a attached single, do that one. Um, Spark, at least as of the making of this video, does not work with two to four or mobile homes, so don't use those or land. Uh, but you can use it for detached, attached, the residential rental, rental, and also you could use the cross property residential if you want to. So set it up for each one of those or as many of those as you actually use. So if you use all four of those, then set it up for all four. If you just use one or two, just set it up for the one or two. Okay, so I'm going to do the detached single. And then right here for report name, I'm going to name it. You can see I already have them made, but I'm going to go ahead and name it test detached. And that's all for that section. Now all you do here is you left click the very top field take this and scroll it down, drag it all the way down to the bottom, so you're at the very bottom of this big list of fields, and then hold down on your keyboard the shift key. So I just clicked it and I'm holding it down, and then with my mouse I'm going to left click zoning type, or I should say you left click the bottom most field, whatever that happens to be. As soon as you do that you can let go of the shift key and you'll see that everything is highlighted. If this is not what you see, that means it didn't work, so just retry it. To retry it, you left click the top one, scroll it on down to the bottom, hold down the shift key, left click the bottom, let go of the shift key, and you're all set. Now all you do is you click this right facing arrow, and that will move everything from here over to here. I'll click it now, left click, and that did it. And now all you do is you click save. And we're done. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to make one more just so you can see it again and also so you can see that you need to do it for multiple. So that was for detached. I'll make this one for attached. And I'll name it Spark Test Attached. Left click the top field, drag it down, hold down Shift, left click the bottom field, hit the arrow, hit Save. That's all there is to it. So now I just made those two. That's these two right here. And now we are all set, so we can go ahead and do a search. And I'll go ahead and show you how to actually export your data. If you already know how to do that, you can stop watching now. You're not going to get anything new out of the rest of the video. But if you have never exported data using a custom export before, then go ahead and keep watching. So now I'm going to left. I'm going to go into a search. So let's just do a detached single, 
and I'll get that search set up real quick. Okay, got the search set up. Looks like there's seven listings in there. I'm going to go ahead and click View Results. So once you're in the results screen, that's when you can actually export the data. Now you can either leave these checkboxes alone and export everything, or you can choose the specific ones you want to export. Let's say I want to export all of them but number two. I do this, just check the ones I want, and then up above, which right here, you want to click this yellowish looking folder that has a down arrow on it. That's the export button. So you click that export button, you'll be taken to this screen. It allows you to either use only the selected listings, the ones we put a checkbox next to on the prior page, or take everything. So I'm going to take the one, just the ones we selected and click Next. And then here in this drop down window, you choose the custom export that you just made for Spark, and that is this one. And you click Next. And then on this window, this is the last one, you just choose Tab Delimited Text, which should be selected by default. The only other option is Excel. Do not choose Excel. Choose Tab Delimited Text, click Continue. Little box, little box pops up down here saying it's ready to uh, save the file to your computer. I prefer to choose this little drop down and click Save As. That way I can save it exactly where I want to on my computer and name it exactly what I want to so it's easy for me to find later if I should have the need to. Click Save and we're done. That's all there is to it. Okay, thanks everybody for watching. Bye-bye.